Nation, Bucks fans, Bucks gang, Bucks all around. What's up? Travis checking in with you. And I'm not reviewing the game from Sunday. I mean, it's Monday. We lost. We know already. Okay? Four and nine. But I'm not touching up on the obvious right now. Well, then again, I am. So, as of recent news, apparently, Dirk Cutter and Jameis Winston are not seeing eye to eye right now. And honestly, folks, if you watched for Hard Knocks, if you've seen the body language during the season, if you see how the offense is just not clicking still, it's obvious. It's obvious that there's tension between them. It's probably not just them. It's probably a lot of people on the offense as well. Plain and simple. <clears throat> if you look back to when Lovey Smith was our head coach and Dirk Cutter was our offensive coordinator in his first year, there is an article that blatantly says Dirk Cutter did not want to draft Jameis Winston for his offense. He wanted to draft Marcus Mariota. Now, granted, Marcus Mariota has been putting up numbers too, but if you look at the games played, Marcus Mariota is very fragile. He's hurt again for the second time in the season. Jameis Winston has, already, has only been hurt for the first time in the season to where he's missed some time. So I think we made a better choice at quarterback when it comes to um, durability and actually the ability to play. Um, Dirk Cutter... He's calling a very, very vanilla offense. Again, look back to when Dirk Carter was the offensive coordinator to where he's now as a head coach. We had a lot of, we had a lot of aggressive plays, on the run passing plays. So of course, after going nine and seven his first year, we were expected to be a very explosive and very dominant offense. But after watching hard knocks and seeing Dirk Carter on the sideline and seeing his play calling execution, he is obviously trying to play too safe, and he's holding this offense down to a very vanilla level. We have too many playmakers and too many guys to be playing this bad on offense. We should be having numbers up. We should not be waiting until the fourth quarter to open up the playbook, which has obviously been happening these last few games. It's ridiculous. It's awful. And obviously, this is going to be Dirk Cutter's last year. I don't see him staying another year. Will I be mad if he does stay? I mean, if he's going to be a head coach and hand over the offensive play calling to someone else, sure. But if he's going to be a head coach and offensive coordinator, there's going to be no progress with this team. Not so ever. It's, it's awful. It's plain and simple. It's, it's a shame that we regressed this bad this season. We went from a promising 9-7 to a 4-9. and nine. So it's obvious we're going to be early in the draft picks. It's obvious that... <clears throat> We're just one of the biggest disappointments in, of the NFL this year, if not the biggest disappointment, and there's going to be changes made. So on to the defense, to you, Mike Smith. Rumors are that you're going to be gone, heading to New York. You're trying to play it off. I said, let's avoid that. And after what Florida State just went through with Jimbo, I know you're trying to be cool. You're trying to be playing it safe. I'm sorry, the Florida State reference was unnecessary, but it's just a great example of how coaches like to be um, nonchalant about the topic. They like to avoid the topic. Mike Smith, get the fuck out of Tampa. Please. Please leave. Your defense sucks. Um, they made a huge regression as well. You're just not. Your, your execution is piss poor. We'll be so glad if you take off to be the head coach of New the, the Giants. Go, 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 just go. Plain and simple. This defense sucks. Again with the offense, too many playmakers, too many, too much talent on the defense to be the way we are right now. We, to the, the fact that you say sacks are overrated, you know better than that. Mike Smith, you know better than that. Let's be for real. We all know sacks and creating pressure on the quarterback disrupts offenses. Plain and simple. But you want to rely on coverage schemes, trying to confuse the, the quarterback. And it's just not working, man. It's just not working. We have all the talent on defense to be better. And with your scheme and how you call things and your rotations of all this talent that came, it's not working, bro. So you can go to New York. You can take that shit to New York because we don't need it down here. Plain and simple. Um, shout out to Isaiah for holding it down. I'm still here, still still around. Bucks game, we're gonna make changes for the better. Because this year is just just shows what's going on in that office. I mean, I, I believe we should still keep Jason Light because he's still bringing in the talent. I mean, Rick, the uh, Guayo pickup was was our biggest dud, but the drafts, the uh, um, the free agency, he's he's been the best so far of recent years. And I know y'all gonna talk shit and disagree with me, but hey, we have all have our opinions. Y'all just ain't voicing them out like I am. 
it is what it is. Um, Bucks game, tell me what y'all think. Um, the fans, Isaiah, Bucks games all around. We're, we're going to turn this around, man. I'm upset. I'm disappointed. But we just got to finish the season strong. But we got to stand by our Bucks, man. We're diehards, right? Right? So let's stand by our team and stand together instead of fighting each other. All right, signing out, Travis Johnson.